Okay, we're rolling. <clears throat> Good afternoon. I am pleased to announce that today, Paula Medley, a caregiver who stole tens of thousands of dollars from Miss Geraldine Jackson, was sentenced to 10 years with all but five suspended. She was convicted of obtaining, through deception, tens of thousands of dollars from a vulnerable adult. She was also convicted of theft and identity fraud. We are pleased uh, that the judge gave an appropriate sentence in this case. Uh, we are also pleased that Ms. Geraldine Jackson um, got a level of justice today. Um, and we are also pleased that Ms. Jackson is willing to work with our office to fight, to fight against other, uh, or, or to fight for, excuse me. We are happy that Ms. Jackson wants to fight for other vulnerable victims who have been taken advantage of by caregivers and others who they trust. It is so important that we empower everyone in our community to get justice. And today we were able to deliver justice for Ms. Jackson, and we want her to join our fight to deliver justice for others. So I want Ms. Geraldine Jackson to tell <laughs> her story and also talk about her future plans. Well, I met Paula about five years ago, okay? 2019, 2015, and she came to be a live-in with me, and she systematically used my credit cards uh, and my bank account and withdrew money from that and stuff and did things for her daughter, especially her baby girl. Uh, they went to Jamaica. They went on other trips. Uh, what basically I, what I would like for, to know what we need to do to protect the elder people, older people in our society. They need help, and so do the families of these people. We are not always aware of how predatory some of these people are. Not all of the health people, of course, but you have to be able to be able to pick those out, and when you become suspicious of them, then you can turn to the government, it's PG primarily for me. Uh, I, I was not diligent in that. I normally would seek out references and stuff, and I didn't do that. I took somebody else's word for what she was and what she did. Uh, and it was a costly payment that I have to pay, but if it will help others, seniors and their family members, I am more than willing to do anything I can. Now, Ms. Jackson, when you think of the trust that you put in this woman, mm -hmm. all those years, uh, to, when you find out that she's stealing from you, uh, what, what feeling, what emotion did you have when you learned that? Well, I was very upset with her, very angry. I was suspicious for a while, but I always like to get proof. So, you know, after a, a while of not getting my monthly bank statements that was, you know, telling me how my, what my balance was, what I spent and all that, and she would come in there and say it wasn't in there, in the mail, because I couldn't get to the mail. There was a slope, or well, it's a slight slope. But when you're in a wheelchair, it becomes like a hill. Like you're going down fast and can't stop. So I stopped going to the mail, and she, she was picking up the mail. I, I didn't like the idea either, for her sake, more than any, that um, she had, when I went out with her to shop and stuff, which I did at first, but gradually, over a period of time, I stopped doing that. I would let her go on me through the credit card and stuff. Plus, she took my wedding rings. And, and now you're in an assisted living facility. You can't live out of your home and with a caregiver at this point. Well, I don't trust anybody to live with me now. That's the truth. I, 
I don't. And I, I unfortunately, I think you know, I make other people pay. I, I, I'm doing the questioning and, and, and the doubting thing now before when I wasn't, and they don't deserve it. You know. Now, this isn't the end of the, the, the court proceedings. What do you, in your heart, what do you hope happens and, and comes about from the restitution well, and everything else? Number one, I'm going to have to educate myself on what laws exist in in Prince George's County, at least today, because I didn't, I, I didn't do that, and I really don't, I really blame myself for not doing that research, doing my research first. I, I just, I just trusted her. She, she was very outgoing and, and gracious, and, and you know, some people just work you in, but you have to be diligent. And but then too, it, I can be overly aggressive now with people, and they have to. Before they had to prove that they were wrong to me. Now they have to prove that they're not wrong, and no one should be placed in that position. That's not fair to them, and really, it's not fair to me either. But it's very aggravating, and I look at them as, what do you want from me now? Mm -hmm. so. But I'm willing to do anything in, in that field now to help with the seniors. Yes, ma'am. What message, you know, you've touched on it, but what is the bottom line message that you would give to other people who are in your situation? Check out. Do some detective work. Have somebody research this people. I'm not even sure. She told me that uh, she had a license. I never bothered to ask her to look at I never asked her to look at it. So I don't know if there are licenses that these people have to have. They should. There should, there should be um, uh, records checked to see if they have done anything that they weren't supposed to do before they're placed with these people who are very vulnerable. We're vulnerable for in, in a lot of different ways, not only physically, but uh, mentally and, emotion and emotionally is worse. I mean, you know, you don't get over that. Uh, and you were concerned that others, there are other victims possibly. Yeah. Well, you yeah, know, because she's not the only predator out there. From from uh, Miss Medley though, she I guess she cared. Does she care for others as well? Miss Medley does care for others. She's sure. cared for them in the past, and she currently has um, individuals in her care. And we are concerned for. Her. And uh, what happened in this case is that she messed with the wrong person, and Miss Jackson uh, and her goddaughter yes. decided to get justice. And our office delivered that justice for them today, and we will continue to work with her as we go through the restitution process. Uh, our goal is to get her every last dime that she's out uh, and to send a very so strong message to individuals who want to prey upon others that in Prince George's County, that will not be tolerated, and we are coming after you. Hey, can I ask one last question? <laughs> um, so... Uh, when the judge, were you there when the judge was reading off the list of the prior charges? Yes. What, I don't, is that anything that you knew about? And what goes through your mind when you hear all of those different charges? How stupid I was. You asked me, that's what I, I feel stupid because I didn't do any research. And that's the first thing. Everybody should be licensed some way to, there should be laws if they're not. I'm not saying, because I don't really know and this is where I'm going to go next, is to find out what laws do exist. Every county is different, so you have to do a different thing in every county. But every, all of us are entitled <coughs> to some peace and tranquility. Life is hard enough. Yes, ma'am, thank you. It's good. It is. Because I woke up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. 
Could you, you say your name again, please? Oh, Aisha Bray, Boy State's Attorney for Prince George's County. Ms. Jackson, how does it feel to have some sort of justice? It feels good, but it doesn't stop me from feeling stupid. But it feels good. And if my main concern is I don't want this to happen to somebody else. And I know this has happened to others, and it's happening today. Not in every instance, but somebody's taking advantage of somebody who is vulnerable. And in, in uh, May of this year, um, Elder Abuse Awareness Month, uh, Ms. Jackson will be one of our featured speakers so that she can help empower other seniors and individuals who have disabilities who rely on others for care. Uh, she will empower them with information and knowledge and her now know-how uh, in, in terms of interviewing uh, prospective um, caregivers. Mm -hmm. And knowing what what they have to have Absolutely. and show it. What was the date and time of that event again, that May event? May 14th. May 14th at what time? Seven a.m. Starts at seven a.m. We'll oh, eight a.m. We'll get you the information. Yeah, we'll give you, get you the information so you can roll it. Yeah, we have a flyer, right? We'll get you. We'll get everyone a flyer. Okay. Can you just talk about how you found out again? Well, I was getting suspicious because of the fact that I was receiving phone calls from credit card companies, and I knew that I wasn't using my credit cards, but I had the bad habit of even when I did even when they expired, I didn't destroy the card. Please destroy cards. Everybody, destroy it. Because what she was doing was she was uh, like American Express. And I hadn't used American Express for a very, very long time. And I was proud of the fact that I had an American Express card because at the time, when I first got it, they didn't give American Express cards to black people. You didn't get it. And when I got mine, I was so proud, and so I made sure. With all, well, I did that anyway. The only things that I carried over would be if I had a big car expense and all my house. You know, when you purchase them big items like that, you do it over the course of time. But the last thing that I purchased, but I soon learned when they came up with, um, uh, you pay your credit off in one year, I made it a point to pay mine off in 11 months so that they couldn't say that it got me lost in the mail. Because I, I didn't want my credit, my credit, my mother always preached that your credit was your, was your, your do all, your be all. If you didn't have good credit, you didn't have a good name. So that has was always been very, very important to me. But that's okay. He he worked it out for us today. We we actually have one of our flyers. So I don't know if you all want to take a like picture of it. If you want to post it along with the story, um, you're free to do so. I think it's right up there. Okay. Just the one flyer you have here? Um, do we have well, we'll, we'll, okay. yeah. Yeah. we'll, we'll get it out. Yeah. We'll get oh, okay, so we can email it to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, one more my question. This, this happened for how long over a period of time? To, she came to me in 2015. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. So, it, we just reached fruition today. But, it, but, but the effect uh, occurred but over a three year period. Three year period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I was even paying for her, her, her Mercedes or whatever she had. I never had anything higher than a Chrysler car. <laughs> <laughs> Those are nice. <laughs> Thank you. They're nice, but I didn't think a car was worth the money that be, and I still don't. Mm -hmm. My husband, took, he said the Chrysler products had a good motor, and that's what we did from the time we got our first. Second-hand car. I just got one question. I know you say you feel stupid, and I mean most of anybody will when you do something and you don't check. But do you 
you um, give any credit to yourself for being financially responsible and just being on oh, top I of do. everything? I do. Because you kind of your own like saved yourself in the sort where you kind of started seeing beginning signs. So what mm -hmm. beginning signs should people look for um, to prevent getting that deep into it? Uh, when you have anything missing in your mail or however you receive your bills and stuff, if there's any question about any payment on, on it, don't just think that the company has made a mistake. You keep checking it out until it's resolved. That particular issue is resolved. Uh, be careful about your your books, your credit card, your checkbooks, your credit cards. Don't leave them where anyone can have access to them. I made the mistake of I would leave my purse, which had everything in it, like this on this chair, but it was in the kitchen. And then I would go in at night, and she would help me in the bed, but my purse was there in the kitchen. So she had free access without my being able to. I couldn't even surprise her because I couldn't get out of the bed until I taught myself how to get out of the bed. And now you feel empowered to help other people, right? I would like to keep somebody, other people from being as stupid as I was, that it took me so long to. Because I wasn't, I was always one, I didn't, I didn't understand myself because I was one who, who would double check on things. And I just didn't. And then when I started getting suspicious, I didn't want to believe it. You know, so you just sort of, no, that's not true. And I delayed and delayed, you know, and then she wanted to, what really got me was when she was taking me to the bank for me to cash a check that I want, some, some bank of work that I wanted to do. And she didn't take me to the bank that I dealt with. She took me to another bank of America. And oh, also the fact that the IRS is after me too, saying that I owe all this money because of the credit cards. And I, yeah. I have never had IRS or any bill collector to come after me because of lack of payment. And, that, 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 and that's not resolved yet. So I'm not happy about that until that gets resolved. Okay, sure, thank that's going to be enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you did great. Oh.